Welcome everyone, today we're going to be bringing you another Beyond All Reason video, and today we're going to be looking at 7 hotkeys and settings you didn't know. Don't you hate it when you wake up in the morning and you see nothing but destruction before your eyes? There's nothing but nuclear fallout spreading across the map. What are you supposed to do? How are you supposed to defeat your foes after something like this happens? And so you send in the construction vehicle to repair the ground. Keep in mind, all of these hotkeys are based on the grid pattern, so if you do not have the grid pattern, please change that now. By simply pressing M, you are able to create a circle of repairing the ground command, which will then restore the ground to its original state. Next we have the Q command. This is used when you want to select all of one type of unit. You can also easily do it by double clicking a single unit that you want to select. It will select all of the same type of unit in the screen area. Up next as our third command, we have the Control Q hotkey. This will be especially useful when you're wanting to do big raids with smaller units. By pressing Control Q, you separate them in halves. By pressing it again, you separate them in another half, and you can do that continually until there is one left. Our fourth tip, and one of the most important tips, Control tab. This will select any idle building or unit on the map. It is a toggle state where you can switch between idle construction units and buildings one by one. Up next we have one of the most valuable and useful hotkeys you should know about. This is Shift Alt. This makes it so you can spread your buildings not only vertically but also horizontally in a grid pattern. While holding Shift and Alt, if you press X and Z, you can separate them and increase or decrease the spacing between them. Next up we have the self-destruct hotkey. This is very important especially if you're going to be using large units that you know will die on the enemy line. I would recommend doing this every time. Control B. Another way of using it is if your mexes are surrounded by early harassment, control B them and they will blow up and kill the units around them. Next, open your settings and go to game. Then find the set target as default. This will make it so when you right click on an enemy, instead of your units moving directly towards that enemy, you can still micro them around while they prioritize that enemy as a target. This is especially useful with artillery pieces because you can prioritize high value targets instead of things like tick spam and pawns. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing those settings and hotkeys that you may not have seen and probably should use more frequently. As always guys, I hope you enjoyed and if you stayed till the end, definitely make sure you subscribe and I will see you guys on the battlefield.